friendship with boy George. I love George. Yeah. My friend. But we're as close as you can be without, without doing it. The association may have helped Marilyn's publicity, but it couldn't help him reproduce the success of that first hit. Out of the top 20, perhaps, but there was still one place where he could guarantee top billing. A drugs raid on Boy George's house. His friend Marilyn is charged. Yeah, it was horrible. Been arrested and taken to Paddington Green, the most secure prison in the country, and interrogated. The following morning, the doors still locked, Marilyn gave another attention-grabbing performance. We got there 8.30 in the morning or something. I don't think I happened until 9. And it was hundreds of photographers there. I was just then like, oh, there's nowhere to go. So you just stand there, and I started booting the door in. I let me in. Cleared of drug possession, he remains unrepentant. Billy Idol's manager said to me, um, you know, the great thing about you is that um, you've never turned around to the public and said, I'm really, I'm really sorry for being a drug addict. I'm no, no, mind your own business. <laughs> Make my own mistakes and I'll deal with them. Another mistake was ignoring a large tax bill. Opens it up and <laughs> screwed on through in the bin. Marilyn escaped to the US for five years and performances became a rarity. I do perform occasionally. I performed last, was it last year? I can't even remember. Nowadays he has a rented flat in Soho, but he says his brush with fame left him with nothing. I ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. And I'm still happy. Happiness, though, is not complete as he battles with prolonged pneumonia. The pain and oh, everything. I was in hospital for nearly a month, and they said you're gonna. It's gonna take like it might take up to a year to get over it. Like, what? You know? And here we are, coming up to eight months later. Now the limelight-loving gender bender from Boreham Wood spends most of his time being cared for by his mum. I'd rather be poor, surrounded by great people who love me and who I love, than have 50 million quid in the bank and surrounded by if someone like if I lent on them, they'd crumble. You know, I oh, don't think so. 